Hey everyone, I'm Kaching, and I am here today with Tamara. Uh, Tamara is uh, one of our product managers. Um, Tamara, you want to introduce yourself a bit? Yeah. For those that don't know you. <laughs> hey, Tamara Hart here. Um, I am located in Portland, Oregon with Kaching. Um, I've been a part of the product management team for about nine years now, and I look after the drawings module specifically. Cool. Yes. Yes. So uh, we wanted to talk to you kind of face to face just because of everything else is going on. Uh, hope you guys are safe. And uh, for those that you who aren't aware, we did push a big update last night. Um, there's a lot of uh, fresh functionality, improvements, enhancements in a number of different areas. Uh, I think manufacturing got a ton of uh, uh, new features. Um, so, you know, I, if you guys are using Fusion 360, definitely check it out, get the update. Um, there's a lot of new things there. Um, and we've heard a lot about uh, what you've been asking for around 2D drawings. Um, you've, we all are aware that in the past couple updates, there haven't been a lot of 2D drawings improvements, um, but that doesn't mean that we're not working on it. We're, we've been working on it very hard, and Tamara's actually been driving a lot of the, those efforts. Um, so we want to take some time and talk about uh, what we've been doing and what are some things that uh, that are coming and some like meaty meaty uh, experiences and enhancements. Um, so yeah, Tamara, what uh, what can you share with us? Awesome. So you're 100% right. The team has been very, very busy, even though it may not look like it from the outside. So for this last, I don't know, six months or so, the team has been working really, really hard at a really big re-architecture project mm -hmm. um, that will free us from some of the overhead and the debt that we were carrying around, um, which isn't a really sexy project to talk about, but what it does is now that we're, we're done with it, it opens the doors and the floodgates so that we can start releasing more features more regularly at a higher, um, at a higher rate of velocity. Mm. So the first kind of um, release of re-release of new features for the drawings workspace will be in the May update of Fusion 360. Um, and you'll start to see, you know, big releases uh, with drawings updates um, at every major update thereafter. Um, so we apologize for the lull in ability to deliver um, features, but now that we're, we're rolling again, um, we're going to be able to roll a lot faster than we were, that's which is awesome. really exciting. Yeah. yeah, that's great to hear. And even, I mean, when you talk about architecture, I think that's one of those things that are super important for us to get right, because, you know, if we don't, then uh, it just becomes harder and harder uh, as, as Fusion continues to evolve and grow. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's not something like Tamara said, that's super sexy to talk about or show off, but it's something really important that we want to do. Um, and so, okay, in May, looks like there's a lot going on. Uh, I heard that there's things like the ability to uh, sketch, sketch things into any drawings. <laughs> what, yeah. is, what, what can you tell us there? Yeah, so we added another environment within the drawings workspace um, that lets you freely sketch things like lines, arcs, circles, rectangles mm. um, onto a sheet. Um, so freely sketch, uh, non-associative, this will give people the ability to add in supplementary uh, geometry to their views that they need in order to dimension it appropriately or to create custom symbols or to create workarounds for symbols that we don't yet provide like um, revision markers, um, things like that. So be able to sketch freely, um, copy and paste those sketches across sheets in a drawing, even to be able to copy and paste those outside of a drawing across F2Ds, across mm. drawings, so that you could have maybe some standard callouts and reuse them or even some standard text, which we hear a lot from people. Right. They have a confidentiality notice or a standard tolerance table. And today we lock you in. Um, so this will kind of open up that ability to, to, to not just author new things, new geometry, but then to reuse them across sheets and across documents. 
which awesome. will help out a lot. Yeah. Oh man, that's that's so cool. So cool to hear. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I think we hear a lot from you guys is um, the ability to see your line widths and like uh, expect what you're actually going to get. Um, is that also something that's coming? Yes. Thank goodness. <laughs> um, I don't know how many times I've I've seen talk to a customer or seen a customer print out a drawing but especially an eight and a half by 11 drawing and the lines come out too thick because mm. we don't show you what the line weights are that we're using on screen. Um, so that's our bad. Uh, that is fixed. We now will be able to visualize what the line widths look like on screen and you'll be able to toggle them up and down between lighter and heavier so that we can accommodate the different sheet sizes and, and the line widths that are appropriate for those views. So, so that's cool. gonna be really powerful. Awesome. That's so good to hear. And I, I just also wanted to comment on, you know, the, um, the effort and why it's taking longer than, you know, some of you may think it should take. A lot of things in Fusion are so associative that, you know, when we implement something, uh, we have to account for so many other areas and how that impacts other areas. So you know, how is this going to impact uh, manufacturing workspaces? How is this going to impact the model? Um, yeah. You can, and there's probably UI changes that we've made that you know, impacts the the whole product as well, right? Yeah, yeah. We have um, a tricky architecture, mm. um, and so when we make changes like that, um, they're they're pretty significant. Um, a good example of that is um, that we were actually behind in the fusion world. Um, and where we were storing our, our, our settings. So mm. document settings mm. and sheet settings. In the May update, that's fixed. Um, that's an example of where we were actually just behind. Um, and customers had a different experience in drawings with having to find all of their document settings down in the bottom by the pan and the zoom yeah. rather than in the browser where it lives for everything else. Um, so yeah, making sure that we're aligned with the rest of of fusion is really important and will just help with that that feeling of cohesiveness across the product. Mm, nice. Okay, cool. So um, I think one thing that we can share with you watching is you'll see more content coming out uh, with this. Um, definitely, I think we'll have some videos. Um, the next what's new will cover a lot of this too. So you know, if you're if you're interested, this really impacts your work. Uh, keep an eye on our blog and YouTube vid YouTube channel. Um, we'll definitely have more uh, as we as we roll this out. But this sounds this sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll have a blog go out with some sneak peek videos that you can check out. Um, obviously, Kaching's what's new. We'll have all of the details um, mm -hmm. in the May update. Um, hopefully, we get some stuff up on YouTube. And check out the feedback hub as well. Yes. Um, that's a place that we we use quite frequently to engage with customers and get get feedback at really early stages in the in the product um, when we're making some critical decisions. So anyone that participated in the feedback hub post for the line widths project, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you'll see the fruition of all that good work in May. And we actually just posted a new one for revision management and what that looks like mm. in drawings um, just a couple of days ago. So if that piques your interest, we would love to hear from you there too. Yeah, awesome. That's a great shout out. And yeah, like Tamara said, I mean, your feedback is what drives a lot of what we deliver uh, and what we prioritize. So um, we talk to everyone, right? We talk to you guys on the, on the forums, online, but also, you know, one-on-one -on -one with other customers with at events. So um, it's really gathering all this feedback and figuring out what is most important. So uh, hope this video was helpful, and um, we we really hope that this is going to help you guys, you know, be successful. So uh, thanks again, Tamara, for joining. And um, yeah, with that, I will talk to you guys later.